Hey everybody, 8 Josh here and welcome back to Meridian Springs and today we're going to be working on the new uh, cougar habitat. We started building this, uh, the habitat itself on stream and then uh, as you guys may or may not know, uh, this zoo is inspired by Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, specifically the uh, Meridian area of Horizon Zero Dawn and uh, I... I Every once in a while, I'll jump into Horizon Zero Dawn and just walk around and grab screenshots of uh, things that I think look cool, buildings, whatever, that I'd like to uh, make in our zoo here. And uh, this this building, I don't know, I don't even know in the game like what purpose the building would serve, but it's like, uh, it's this building that just like kind of juts out from the top of a plateau and then it's got like uh, this like arch section at the bottom uh, so that's what I'm building here this is the uh, kind of tower arch section of that building and yeah just like pretty much everywhere else so far in the zoo using the uh, temple block pieces from uh, the South America pack and uh, using the uh, flexi color version of it because I just think I just think it looks super cool and the color matches pretty pretty close to Horizon Zero Dawn. But yeah, it's 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 been a lot of fun actually. Uh, I only played Horizon Zero Dawn for the first time like early earlier in the year. Like this it's 2021 now, so uh like in January or sometime around there and uh it was one of those games where when I started playing it, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it because it didn't really grab me at the beginning. It probably took me a good couple hours, well, maybe like an hour, um, when the game like really kind of just opens up and kind of just opens up into this uh, open world game. You can kind of just go uh, do what you want to do and kind of just explore and uh, that's when the game really grabbed me and then by the time I finished the game I was like I want to play it again. I need to play it again uh, But I'm I'm waiting for that playthrough again because uh, over on my twitch channel uh, Which if you weren't following me yet, you should we play a lot of planet zoo uh, this time of year September October uh, we also play a lot of spooky games, so you know, if you enjoy that kind of stuff. But we do mix it up with other games, but uh, Planet Zoo is um, played pre pretty much every Saturday. Uh, so if you wanna come hang out in this zoo uh, live, watch us build, hang out, chit chat, it's always a lot of fun. Uh, we would love to have you, but uh, we're gonna do a playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn on stream, probably either end of this year or uh, early 2022, probably about a month before uh, Forbidden West comes out. So we're going to do a playthrough of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and then Horizon Forbidden West, which will be a lot of fun. Uh, but anyway, going back to this build, it, it did pose a bit of a sort of a interesting, I guess, build problem because, you know, as you guys know, uh, when you're building on the grid, uh, you, you can only build can only build on one grid per uh, per group, right? So uh, the top of this is actually several different uh, group pieces because uh, at the top they're angled in like a triangle and there's like three on each side. It's like, well, can't do that with Planet Zoo. So basically I took uh, this piece here that I'm using, it's gonna go on the edge and then I just duplicated it uh, six more times because three on each end uh, but I also I use the uh, the glass panels there I didn't know if you uh, if you didn't pick that up those came with the I want to say the Africa DLC uh, but they're just like the uh, lit windows but it's just the the window pane itself it doesn't have any frame around it so you can basically just make your own custom lit window which is really cool so that's what I did figure to be a good opportunity to use it here because you know the structure is pretty uh pretty tall so at nighttime i thought it would look uh pretty cool like seeing the uh 
the the lit windows there and i think i was trying something here and i don't remember if i got it to work actually uh now that i'm looking at it but yeah the top of this has like uh that like angled piece at the front that kind of hangs over and then it has uh like i said three other pieces on each end and i think okay yeah it's I, I was trying to think like what what did i do here but i remember now and then the uh the top of this i was like well that ink the 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 roof pieces there uh they kind of like overlap at the top and they don't meet up nicely i was like so i need to figure out a way to cover that up so i just put another roof piece over top and then just use some like wood planks to kind of kind of seal everything off make it look like nice one big complete uh, piece but there you go you can see the uh, the six like corner pieces there that uh, I had to do and I had to play some manually and actually when, when I first started I was like hmm I wonder wonder how complex this build is gonna be but actually it wasn't too bad I think I, I made the right choice by because uh, I could I could have done it with non grid pieces but I think I made the right choice using grid pieces because I could I just copied the entire piece and then rotated it to the side to make the six angled pieces on the edge so yeah I think it I think it worked out pretty well and the other thing this building has in Horizon Zero Dawn is this weird almost like not not like a crane but just like a it has this like wooden structure on the side that looks like it's got like ropes and uh, everything it's, I, I don't know I don't know what it's meant to like hold up in in the game or like pull things up it's got like ropes and pulleys and stuff so I was recreating that here which was uh, I don't know I was having a lot of fun with like just trying to make my own uh, I guess like pieces in this game that because uh, they don't exist uh, like the uh, the pulley system the elevator pulleys uh, for the big elevator towers you know like coming up with uh, combining pieces and coming up with ways to make them look like gears and pulleys and things because Planet Zoo doesn't have any of that stuff uh, if we were playing Planet Coaster we would have it because uh, Planet Coaster has all the cool uh, scenery pieces and stuff like that so you know in Planet Zoo we have to you know we have to make our own and that's okay it, it adds a little bit of extra challenge and uh, the end result is generally pretty cool, I would say. Yeah, I just use like uh, mostly the Arctic wood pieces because they uh, they they work pretty well for like just using like a darker, uh, just like a darker wood color. And then uh, I use the uh, the log there from the Australia pack just to add a little extra like uh, oh you know they were building it maybe they ran out of wood so they just chopped down they just chopped down this tree and. Uh, they use that instead and then just here just adding like different ropes and uh, things like that you know trying to trying to just make everything look like it's maybe functional in some way but again I don't know in Horizon Zero Dawn what this uh, piece on the edge of the building would have been used for but I don't know I guess maybe some sort of like crane or something but little apparatus uh, I did actually take a piece from the elevator pulley system, the chains there, and just uh, I deleted the, uh, removed the, uh, the the weighted part, and then just kept the chains because uh, that's actually that's what's there in Horizon Zero Dawn. And then here, just adding a little little extra detail, some metal bits to, uh, you know, that they, you think maybe they would use to kind of just strengthen the uh the connections there the the pieces of wood or whatever you know just a little extra details like that but i think it adds a nice little extra touch i think that's more or less what we have in the time lapse here i'm just adding uh, a little bit of ivy i did add a, a bunch of plants that look like to make it look like they're kind of growing up the side of the tower and everything um but yeah, like I said, I think that's going to do it for the time lapse. So let's uh, jump into the real time gameplay and we'll check out uh, this tower and the cougar habitat and anything else you may have missed if you didn't see the last episode. 
All right, and here is the front of the cougar habitat. So uh, as we kind of come back around, so you guys saw this last time, we have our little food court over here. The camels are right there. Um, so we're just kind of, we zoom out, you can see where we are. There's uh, the city of Meridian. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the, uh, the cougar habitat here. Also with the sign, uh, I knew I wanted to put like some kind of sign here and initially I was thinking I wanted to do like some sort of like big grand sign and then as I was building it I was like you know what I think I want to make something a little a little different so I did these like platforms in the water with the like the ropes and the vines and then just uh, just put the new cougar uh, signs there and I think it looks pretty good I think it works it also is uh we've got some lighting going on as well which I think looks really good I did more of the uh, area lights underneath I colored them the same blue color that the water is and then we've just got a couple uh, little spotlights there shining on the sign itself um, but actually we'll keep it at nighttime since we're here because it definitely adds to the mood but uh, yeah, so we've got we got a couple exhibits up here as well. Um, did a little bit more of like the, the flames thing up here because it kind of keeps with the theme with the Meridian City. We've got some flame towers around. So just kind of kept, you know, kind of keeping that theme where we can. But uh, yeah, so we put the new uh, bullfrogs in here. We actually have Believe it or not, we have two albino bullfrogs. How old, how cool is that? I, I would think that they'd be rare, but, um, but we got two of them, so that's pretty neat. And then, yeah, we walk over here. We've got uh, more of these string lights. I'll probably be using these a lot more in the zoo because I really like them. Uh, and then over here, we've got some uh, rattlesnakes. So, you know, just a good way to kind of incorporate uh, a couple exhibits throughout the zoo because I do feel like in Aurora Zoo that was one thing uh, we didn't really add a lot of or exhibits so uh, I'm, I'm going to try better at adding more in Meridian Springs um, but then actually let's switch back to daytime so yeah here is the uh, finished cougar habitat and I have to say I really really love it um, if you don't know, one of the things we're doing in Meridian Springs is we actually disabled plant needs because I wanted to be able to just load up habitats with foliage and not have to worry about that. So uh, this is the result of of that uh, decision, just being able to like put tons and tons of plants and things. I still try to keep it within the biome uh, of the animal. Uh, in this case, the cougars actually live in almost every biome that's in the game. And uh, so that allows us to put a bunch of different plants in here. But like, I love the little creek here with the uh, the stones underneath. Added a waterfall as well, because that goes out to our river out there. So super happy with that. Um, and then, yeah, we actually put their little, little sleeping area right underneath the, uh, the uh, viewing platform there um, but yeah it's just it's a really nice habitat I love it did give them a little bit of climbing stuff uh, cougars do don't have a climbing requirement but uh, they will use it if you give it to them so uh, we gave them some stuff I put a nice platform here because I figured it'd be a good spot in case we uh, you know maybe we'll have the path come a little bit closer over here so guests can see them if they want to uh, I think that could be pretty neat and we did test it that the cougars even though they can jump really far uh, believe it or not they cannot jump over that from the platform so uh, so we're all good there but yeah just loaded it up with plants and I just think it looks so good I think the creek is probably one of my favorites I don't know if it's maybe the stones that we put down there but, but yeah they're it's looking really good and then the cougars themselves I'm sure you've seen them all by now but I mean they're just they're just so good looking. I love the models. We actually had a uh, cub, but they grew up. I don't know which one, which one it is. Oh, this this one. This was our cub. They've grown up. 
no longer a cub, but they're still super cute. And then, yeah, the tower, so we can explore that. So there's the, uh, here's the completed tower. So here you can see the little apparatus thing that uh, we built on the front. I, again, I don't know what it would have been used for in the game. Maybe just some sort of crane kind of thing. But uh, I think overall it looks really cool. I love how it just towers over. Um, and I love the, I love the way that it uh, is actually like in the habitat as well. Uh, originally, because this piece of terrain ended about right here, I was going to have this come out here and then it would have just met up uh, basically where the back of this is, is where the front is. And then I was like, as I was building, I was like, you know what? I think I want it to actually be in the habitat. So uh, that's what I did there. But I think it looks really cool. I'm super happy with it. And then the only other thing that uh, we've changed is uh, I know I had a whole episode about putting the crocodiles here, but we actually switched out the crocodiles for the new North American alligator. So we've got alligators in here now, and uh, these things just look absolutely incredible too. This is the female who just pooed, of course. Uh, we do have, uh, unfortunately, we do have a couple, uh, that's an alligator, but we have a couple crocodile juveniles because they take like 15 years to mature and you can't, uh, you can't sell juveniles in, in the market. Here's one. So this is one of the, the crocodiles. So they're constantly, uh, being preyed upon by the alligators, but you know, I don't think that they actually, I don't think the adults actually attack the juveniles in this game. Only adults, adults attack adults basically. So we just, we're waiting for them to grow up. They're only about four years old. So uh, we got a long time to wait, but it'll be fine. But yeah, the alligators look super cool. So, you know, it was a cool way to uh, get some new animals in the zoo already because you know that the Africa DLC came out right kind of towards the end of Aurora Zoo so I didn't get to use them and uh, so we have I want to use pretty much all of the animals in that pack uh, all the animals in the North America pack are super awesome uh, I think one thing we're gonna do is like uh, I don't know where, where I'm gonna put it maybe over here somewhere or maybe somewhere else uh, but we're gonna do like a little aquatic center with the uh, the penguins because we have two types of penguins now and uh, the sea lions. So we'll do that somewhere. Uh, maybe maybe over here would be a nice little spot for that. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. We did add some more plateaus around this this one and this one over here is new. So that's that's pretty much uh, what we've done so far. But uh, yeah, it's starting to look it's starting to look like a little zoo now and I'm super excited about it. I'm very happy uh, and I got to tell you I'm loving doing the uh, like a non-traditional uh, kind of non non-realistic zoo uh, more like not like a zoo you'd see uh, around but like imagine if like Disney or Universal made a zoo I know Disney kind of has a zoo right with the animal kingdom but yeah so that's that's where we're at and I think it's looking pretty good like I said uh, if you want to hang out while we build live uh, planet zoos every Saturday uh, you know we got a lot of stuff coming up um, in the next few months we've got let's build a zoo in November we also have Jurassic World Evolution in November so uh, a lot of a lot of great stuff coming up and uh, hopefully, you know, we'll see you either uh, here on YouTube or also over on Twitch. So so I'm thinking I'm going to leave this here. As always, be sure to leave your comments, suggestions and feedback down below. I am 8 Josh and thanks for watching. See ya.